So this is number one on the practice exam, unit one. And let's see what it says. If C represents the number of cakes ordered, so C is the number of cakes, <clears throat> and D represents the cost per cake, then what does C times D represent? Well, let me think about what the C is that, so I'm gonna take the number of cakes I'm going to multiply, that's what that dot is, that by the cost per cake. So you might see what that means right away. If you don't, let's think about this. If I had 10 cakes and it was $5 per cake, $50, what would that mean? Number of cakes times cost per cake. Uh, that would be the, the total cost of all the cakes. I could say total cost of the cakes. So notice that when I wasn't sure what I did was I actually wrote out the words, maybe plugged in some numbers and tried to bring some meaning. All right, this is uh, 1B for that. So T represents the cost of 10 tacos. Okay, so that's T. What does T over 10 represent? Oops, I wanted to highlight that. T over 10. So if I take the cost of 10 tacos, and I divide that by 10. Well, there's 10 tacos, so that would be the cost of one taco. For example, if 50 taco, if one, if 10 tacos cost 50 bucks, one taco would be five bucks. That's an expensive taco. Uh, 